Alrighty, I guess I can talk about this thing. Several people have asked me if I have a four-wheeler, and that'd be a negatory. But I have agreed to fix this one for somebody. There's two major problems with it. The pegs broke off. That's an easy fix. And this uh, starter thing doesn't return. The spring in there, and its spring's gone or something. So I think that's that's the kind of fix where if I take this off and I take this cover off, I should be able to see if there's a spring in there that's broken or dislodged or if the thing just needs to be lubricated to make it work or what. So that's something I'm going to go ahead and do and get out of the way. And once that's out of the way, it'll be a quick fix to weld or mend or do something to put them pegs back on there and then we can call it good. So with that said, I'll get to work on that. Okay then, this actually turned out pretty good. I took this cover off, which was basically just a plastic cover. Uh, it looks like there's like an air breather right here. And there's some foam around the edge of this. Looks like an attempt to keep all this crud from getting in the motor, which makes sense to me. But right here I could see, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a gear drive right here that connects to this. And when you mash it down, you see that gear moving there? It turns the motor over. And you notice it comes back now. Well, all I did was I got some oil in there, a little bit of oil. And with a little bit of oil in there, the spring works. The only thing that was keeping the spring working was that it just didn't have any lubrication. So, now that that's fixed, that was pretty easy. I didn't have to actually take anything apart much. Uh, just took that cover off and this little breather off. and uh, So, pretty easily put that back together. And then, uh, then we'll fix up them pegs and this thing will be done. Oh, that'll be good. One more project out of the way. Okay, I got this side on there. And uh, well, this thing's got some massive big old whatever you call these things on it. But this one actually bolted right up to the spot on the frame. The, the bolt holes and threads were good. I haven't tightened it yet, but he had welded it before. I think they keep having these things come off for some reason. So. I don't know, I suppose I could bolt it and weld it. I thought I'd call him before I did that. The other side, when they welded it last time, they welded the the pegs in the wrong place so that they got the peg, what's left of the old peg is right over the hole where the bolts were. So that's going to need to be redesigned or something. I guess I'll figure that out. I think I thought I'd turn it around while I could get to the other side of it and work on that good. And we'll sort it out from there. See, here's what I was talking about. This piece of metal is welded right over the old bolt hole. This bolt hole is stripped, but it may be that this one isn't. If I can get one bolt in there and then weld the rest of it, that would be better than, better than nothing. I'll give that a shot. I'll get my grinder out and see if I can grind this crap out of the way. Let's see what we can do with that. All right, I ground that off, but these bolt holes are no good either. They're all completely wallowed out, so. I guess on this side, when this thing goes on here, it's just going to be a weld. Just put her on there, weld her up. See how good of a weld job I can do on that. The thing about it, it's quick and easy that way. So slap it on there, see what happens. I'll uh, straighten it out a little bit, make it fit better. Okay, here's what I wound up doing. I was using these old. Uh, pegboard thingies that came off there but the metal in them was really cheap and you could tell when you ground it the grinder just walked through it and you could bend it with a hammer and really nothing to it. I had a couple of these old uh, uh, axle brackets here and I thought well I'm not just make a new set out of those so I welded those right in there two of them top and bottom I believe that'll stay put. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they will. If I can find two more I'll put two on the other side and we'll see how that works. Alrighty then, I pulled off those big flappy looking boards and I put a set of these spring hangers on both sides of it for uh, pegs. I think that'll do fine. I jumped up and down on it a few times, it felt good and sturdy, so we'll send it home like that and see what he thinks. This thing here's working good. Bounces right up like it's supposed to, so I think we're good on that too. Okay then, I think I'm ready to quit for the day.